Hi everyone and welcome to my Kriya channel. I'm Janelle Edelweiss Kudo and at Kriya we inculcate learning of music through language, art and dance as well as learning language through music, art and dance. Today is going to be yet another special episode wherein I am going to teach you my first wind instrument and that is the recorder. Okay, so this recorder is called the Soprano Recorder and it's by the Honor brand, okay, which is a German brand and we're going to be learning the parts of the recorder. Now the recorder is a very special and integral part of the world of education. I will do another video for this wherein I would explain why uh, we use the recorder as part of the world of education. Okay, so let's start off with the recorder. So let's do the parts. So now you have the head joint. Okay, then this is called the middle joint, which is also called the barrel, the barrel. And you can also call it the body in simpler ways. And this is called the tail joint. Now the head joint consists of the beak or the mouthpiece. Okay. Then this little slit that you see, that's called the window. <laughs> it's called a window. And then this little slope, that is called the ramp. The ramp. Okay. Now. How do you hold this? Now, generally a recorder has 6 plus 1. Okay, so you have like 7 holes out of which the last two have double holes here. The last two have double holes here. Now, how do I hold this? Now, generally always make sure that the mouthpiece is aligned with the holes here at the middle part, on the middle part. But however, the last part which is the tail joint is a little to the right okay it's a little to the right now when i have to put my fingers now we also have a back hole wherein i'm going to put my left hand thumb so generally what happens is your left hand goes on top and your right hand stays down so my left hand thumb is at the back okay and then i have finger one two three and then i have below one two three and the chotu finger here a little other side four okay so let's say if i'm standing like this my this thing needs to be a little to my right so that my finger because this because the pinky finger is short it needs a little more um space so you need to move it in alignment with your finger so this is how it goes so this is in alignment and then this, this is little to the side so I play in the C scale which is your Saregama or your Dore Mi Fa, okay, just for you to get an idea as to how it's supposed to sound. Now this is made of plastic, so it's a little higher pitched as compared to something which is in wood. So I have another recorder which is another Honor recorder but this is in wood. Now if you notice everything is the same except for this is your the tail joint is removable where you can detach it as compared to this here it's fused together. So here the tail joint is fused to the body. Now this is a wooden one which is a little more expensive actually a lot more expensive as compared to the plastic one those of you who are starting off i think you should just go in for the plastic first and then later you can invest into a wooden recorder now let's see how this sounds okay so i play the dore mi fa again with the c scale the wooden one better because it just sounds a little more soothing as compared to the plastic one but they're actually the same notes it's just that this sounds and feels a lot more better so those of you who want to try out initially go for this and later you can invest into a wooden one now you know this recorder even these recorders have different types of fingerings so let's say you have now see as I had told you, we have a double hole here. Now, certain recorders have a single hole there. 
Now when you have a double hole like this, we call it a Baroque fingering recorder. So this is a Baroque fingering recorder and so is my wooden one. But there are certain instruments which, with certain recorders which don't have it. They have a single hole and that is called, uh, those recorders are called a German fingering recorder. So these are the two different kinds of recorders that you have. And this recorder being a soprano recorder, that's soprano is the pitch. You also have other recorders like the sopranino which is higher, okay, higher pitched. Then you also have lower than this which is, uh, below this you have the alto, then you will have the tenor, and then you will have the bass, then you have the contrabass and the sub contrabass recorder as well. So that's like really, really low. Now don't forget, this recorder is called the soprano recorder. It's also called the descent recorder and it has a third name which is called the C recorder. C recorder because the lowest note which is the first note on this recorder is the C, the middle C note and hence the name C recorder. Now that's about the parts of the recorder and the little more information that I've given you on it and thank you for watching the video. Please do like the video, please subscribe to my Kriya channel and also share the video with as many people as you can because it will be of help to somebody I hope and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!